This is about 2016 Smart 412. It was about time. A full 16 years after the launch of the original Smart, and 7 years after the second generation mini car rolled out, the diminutive two-seater is here in its third iteration. The new Fort Woe doesn't come a day too soon to bring a much needed dynamic back into smart showrooms. Dealers in America will get the car in late 2015 as a 16 model. Co-developed with Renault, the new Fort Woe shares its platform with the third generation Twingo. The Smart keeps its rear engine architecture and continues to be powered by a range of three-cylinder engines. In Europe, it will launch with a naturally aspirated, 70 HP, 1.0-liter engine and a turbocharged, 900cc power plant that produces 89 horsepower. A few months later, a 60-horse engine will be added but not for US consumption. Power is channeled to the rear wheels through a 5-speed manual or a 6-speed dual-clutch automatic. We doubt the three-pedal version will make it to the US. What we will get a bit later is a fully electric smart, a cabriolet, and possibly even a hotted-up Brabus. There is a new strut-type front suspension, and the D-down rear axle has been modified. A sport suspension will be available. But don't expect superior driving dynamics from this ultra-short wheelbase rear-engined vehicle. Smart says the Fort Woe is tuned for greater comfort than was offered in previous iterations. The company also claims that the car has been tuned for gently understeering handling characteristics, and that the stability control system is ready to intervene. As with the previous Fort Woe, the new car's beat will be an urban one. At 105.9 inches bumper to bumper, the Ultrasta B2 seater is no longer than the outgoing model. It is rather narrow at 65.4 inches, its ultra tight turning circle, at less than 23 feet, bests its predecessors by a considerable margin. The interior, again as before, impresses with great space utilization, the driver and passenger sit in comfort with generous space in every direction. The trunk holds a full 9.2 cubic feet, or 12.4 when loaded up to the roof. Smart has redesigned the instrument panel, replacing the previous generation's angular look with a far more rounded piece. We've seen indications of this soft luck in other vehicles, such as the current Fiat Panda and Carsole but the smart exaggerates this style and takes it to yet another level. Buyers can specify to have the dash covered in fabric. For more complete this review, go to source link on video description.